visit to Tim's for some silver and gold right here on Yankee Stacking. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I wanted to show you some of the silver and gold that I picked up via the Yankee Swap with some great people in our community. Uh, so I, I, I'm wearing gloves, guys. Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because this predominantly is not my silver and gold. So I, I, I don't know how people who are buying precious metals through me and the Yankee Swap uh, like to handle their gold. So I'm going to default to the gloves, okay? <laughs> so I had someone really interested in picking up Engelhard rounds, 13 of them right here. Aren't these cool? Man, I'll tell you. <laughs> this is a, a classic design, guys, especially the reverse. Look at that, that eagle, the Engelhard at the top. Um, some of these sport a different kind of uh, reverse, like this. Look at that. The E, very nice. Yeah, it was Yankee. Here's here's the money. He PayPal'd me, and he said, I want 13 of those. So picked them up from Tim. I had another person that said, I want the 2020 American Silver Eagles. <laughs> I want two of them, Yankee. So I picked up two 2020s. Very nice, huh? Gorgeous. Last uh, version of the reverse. The 2020 and 2021, supposedly, they're going to change it somehow. Be very interested to see what that looks like. This person wanted two 2020s, but also wanted some maple leaves. So Tim was able to pop a couple of these out. They are the 2017s with the security features. Iconic maple leaf, one of my favorite designs. Love them. So that's for another um, Yankee Swapper. And then I had another one say, Yankee, uh-uh. <laughs> I, I like the price of the back-dated American Silver Eagles. I don't care what the dates are. Get me 10 of them. So we had a smattering of uh, 2011s, uh, 20, uh, 2007. What do we got here? We have uh, 2002. <laughs> Uh, 2010s, 2009s, 10 of these. Very nice. Found out that um, the back dates are, are less expensive. However, at 2001 and prior, the price actually goes quite a ways up, according to the grade book. <laughs> Who knew, right? I'm learning something every day when I go to Tim's. And I had another person say, you know what? Inky, give me three dollars face of junk. <laughs> Constitutional silver quarters. Definitely don't need to be wearing gloves for these. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> Love the sound of real silver. Ooh. So, I got three dollars face of quarters. Uh, and then, one more person said, Yankee, Show me the gold. <laughs> I'm definitely partial to the buffalo, but yeah, very cool. So I ended up getting two one ounce gold pieces. Look at this one. This one is the Canadian gold maple leaf. Oh man. And this is one of the reasons why I'm wearing gloves here too. So this is a 2001 and this is the American Gold Eagle, 1998. Isn't that beautiful? So look at these right here. See the difference? I showed these two to uh, Mrs. Yankee. She's like, whoa, which one is the one you got in your cannon? I said, that one. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, that, that actually looks a little bit more copperish. And I said, yeah, it does. That's 22 karat gold. This is 24 karat gold. This one has a little bit of copper in it. It helps strengthen it. It dings and dents less than this 24 karat. This is, uh, you gotta be very careful with 24 karat gold. Scratches very easily. Um, and, but the, here's, the, here's the deal. They both have 
one full troy ounce of pure gold in them. This weighs a little bit more. So I think that's pretty cool, don't you? Look at that. Oh, man, I don't have a gold maple leaf yet. Uh, one ounce, I should say. I do have quarter ounce uh, maple leaves, but that is amazing. So these two are going out <laughs> to someone in our community. Very excited to do that. Now, when I was at Tim's, I had to get a little bit on my own, right? So you know what I'm trying to do, right? <laughs> Stack American Silver Eagles. I got 10. Actually, no, I take that back. I got eight in the tube right now, but I did buy two that are mine 2007 and a 2009 that brings this tube up to 10 a partial tube i like to put the cap on like that for partial tubes all right this is the only partial tube i have left <laughs> getting close very close and this now I know. Yankee. What? 2001. NCG. NGC. NGC. Now MS69. Not even perfect. How much did you spend to have to they have these slabs? The televisions back at that time for about $100 a piece. 100 each? Yeah. And how much would it cost to get them certified? Uh, well, the TV shows that sold these paid to have them certified. They probably oh. submitted thousands of coins. Yeah. A great deal. So, so how much would it take to buy those? Well, 2001 is yeah. one of those that's it's, gone up. It's value. gone up. I don't know. I don't think I would be slabbing American Silver Eagles. Unless well, they're, I, they're not going to get back to that price. But, um, hmm. What it would cost to buy those, the two prices. There is uh, everybody else's price, and then there's my price. <laughs> everybody else's price? <laughs> everybody else's. Yeah, any going to a coin, coin shop, you probably have to pay $50 a piece for those. Mm. $50 what? a piece for a 2001 MS69. Oh, one perfect. Stop taking pictures of my messy shop. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. It's great. <laughs> They're all 69s. All 2000. Okay, we have the original roll price. All right. It's 23. And um, 69. So Why? Right. Let's say instead of adding $10, make it uh, 28 $28. Yeah. That's five dollars over the roll price. Nicely milk spotted. <laughs> is it really? Nicely milk spotted. Come on, is it really? Yes, of course it is. What is oh, that? That must be the plat, dude. Tim, is that? No, but is that is that plastic or is that the coin? Which what do you look at? That mark there? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it's fresh from the U.S. men. <laughs> Holy cow. Something got between the dies. It looks like, a, almost like a piece of string or something. Amazing. Because it kind of goes like that, and it goes up around like right, that. Right, right, I saw that. Something got in when, in the, between the die and the coin. And what's, and the, is it milk spotted in the front? Not that, you know, no, I think it's somebody blew his nose before he came. <laughs> so explain to me this. I don't does, know what that is. does the value of the coin, a slap coin, a certified coin, go down if it milk spots? It depends. If it was graded with that spot on it, as far as they're concerned, it's a 69. Uh -huh. This is a little suspect. Because if I were the grader, I wouldn't grade it as 69. I would say it has um, unk details. <laughs> <laughs> Uncirculated details. Okay. They should be about $28 a piece. All right. $28 a piece. Fascinating. 
I just, I, man, I guess it's because I'm a stacker. Here's another one, too. Look, look, look at that. On top of the head, right there. Wow. Oh, man. Well, that's an NGC. Yeah. That's not the, what is it? I, what was the other one I had that we ripped open? I I C G. CG. Yeah, this is, this is the real deal. These guys should know what they're doing. So, all right. I don't usually buy this, but I, I'm going to talk about this. So, I can't believe I just bought a slab American Silver Eagle. That looks like that. For the price it would be normally. But it is a 2001. That's a, that's a premium date. Again, something that Yankee usually doesn't do, but. <laughs> the, February book, the February book should be out this week. So okay. You think um, that? I think all the prices are going to hit up, you know, at mm. least to that where mm -hmm. they are. We shall see. I don't know what we're going to do with this, though. Leave it in there? The <laughs> folks at ICG are going, yes. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Finally, we're uh, not getting dumped on. I know. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks a lot, Tim. I don't know. Still trying to figure out if I should crack this one open and add it to the tube over there. Or maybe not. If you're interested in this MS-69 from NGC... Let me know. Uh, email me at yankeestacking at gmail.com. Uh, let me know what you'd be interested in get, taking this off of Yankee's hands before I crack it open. <laughs> these are eagles. I think all of these are prospectors. Oh, these wow. are buffaloes oh, and buffaloes. bars yep. and these are There's the 2019s. Yeah, wow, those are frozen. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> Tim really knows his stuff. I appreciate him a lot. So, uh, like I said, every time I go into that coin shop, I learn something new. And he's so much fun to talk to. If you're interested in the Yankee Swap, check out the uh, link in the description. If you'd like to meet Yankee in person and you happen to be up in the Manchester, New Hampshire area, let me know. Email me again at yankeestacking at gmail.com. Maybe we can meet up. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. I'm going to keep these things off. And, well, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.